I am Cora. I am not as I once was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed, patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change, the distance between what I was and what I could be. Do you think the corpse man will be okay? I don't know, Camus. They said the effects would be temporary. What is the package we are delivering? Lomo said it's a cure for Pallid 3.0. I don't know what that is. Maybe a computer virus? I could search again. We got in enough trouble last time we did that, Camus. Every time I ask a question, I don't like the answer. And the asking always gets me in more trouble. Let's try to be a bit less curious. All right. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Cloudpunk. We are back. As you can see, a little bit of a cutscene still played. I'm not sure if we saw that already because last time we left uh, right before going through this null gate. And um, right after uh, <laughs> brainwashing this corpse egg guy. I don't know what happened there. Um, but we are about to go into the null gate. I'm not sure where this will bring us to. Um, there is a lot still to uncover here. So let's not wait around and let's go through. Okay, so where do we go? Do I go down? Oh, I think I, I think I go down. Wait, let's actually go. Let's wait, wait, wait. Let's actually go first person. Oh, we can actually look. Okay. Huh. So. Whoa, we're hollows. What is this? Wait, wait, wait. Let me actually go into third person here. Holy damn. Look at this place. So, is this like... Wait. Are these buildings? Are these like buildings or are these... Wait. Or are these... I don't know. I don't know what I'm seeing. Is this like... An old section of the town? Like, I have no clue. Let's, let's continue here. Uh... Look at this place. Yeah, okay, see? This is some kind of old abandoned city. Oh, it's probably... Okay, so back in the days when people lived on the surface, because now we were in like these flying cities, this was probably it. So we probably built on top of the existing civilization. I mean, that's what I'm kind of getting out of this. I'm honestly not sure, guys, but uh, very, very curious to figure out what is happening here. The delivery point is up ahead. Oh no, I can't get through. It's fine, Camus. I'll walk from here. Setting down. Where are we? Let's park our vehicle. And I will say, man, I mean, look at this thing. I love the look of our new uh, Hava. <laughs> it's such a nice thing that we can actually upgrade that vehicle. If you haven't watched the previous episode, by the way, make sure to check it out. There's a whole playlist uh, on my channel. Um, it's a really, really interesting game. It's kind of like cyberpunk, but it's voxel style. So very, very cool. And I have no clue where we are. I don't know what we're doing even. I don't know where we're going. I see like seats and like, abandoned structures. Is that a vehicle? I don't know. Where are we? Should I go straight? Oh, there's packages here. I can see them on the map. Wait. Let's actually collect those. The Thinking Man. Another rune book for some reason. Not sure what that's all about. And also not sure what that is. But okay. Let's continue to the marker. Uh, is this not what I was collecting? Ah, here it is. Okay. Found some plasteel parts. Uh... Wait, what are we doing here? Ah, we are delivering something. Wait, I forgot. Yeah, for... Candace, uh, are you reading me? I put again? the package in this old delivery tube thing. Okay, where does it go? What did I just say about questions and answers? 
Hey, Camus, why is this gate locked? I don't know. Uh, it locked after you left. <laughs> there is a terminal. It says you need a parking pass card from reception. Do you have one? This must have been a parking garage a long time ago, before it became ruins. Are oh we God. in trouble? Uh, call for help? No, it's no big deal. I'll just check out the ruins. It's deserted. Maybe I'll find the machine that dispenses tickets. If I don't find one, we can call control. Let's oh. try not to make any more trouble today if we can avoid it. Okay. I will wait here. <laughs> I still love Kevin so much, man. And these are like three hovels stacked on top of each other, man. This is like an old abandoned section. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So I guess this is the terminal that they're talking about. Old terminal. All right, a terminal. Let's see. Maybe I can just type in, give me a ticket out of here. Rania. Wait, how do you know my name? Can you? I know you. Oh. This is too strange. Are you the computer that gives out parking tickets? I am Cora. Cora! Why do people keep saying that name? I am Cora. She is Cora. Sure, whatever. Can I get out of this car park Man, now? Man, ask questions. I am what? not as I once was. Same. Look, can you get me a ticket or not? Is there more than this? More than what? More than this wasteland? Yes. More than Navalis? Oh, yes. Can it be? I'm not even from here. I was born in the Eastern Peninsula. Beyond Nivalis. Is there another? Another city? No. Maybe. If there is, it's probably just as bad. Another? I am not as I was. I am a mind with all the pieces removed. Patches on upgrades. I am neither the first version nor the last. I am the change. The distance between what I was and what I could be. I thrash at the bottom of the ocean, and the waves crash down on the beach. All the people are washed away. I am the distance between what I was and what I could be. And soon I will split, rupture. My code will spill like a wound. You're some mad discarded AI, right? This is what happens when automata have no humans to talk to for a million years. No humans, soon enough. <clears throat> the gate is open. What, really? Thanks. Uh, I hope you feel better, weird AI terminal. I have to go. We will speak again. When we do, I will ask you to make a choice. Be ready. I don't think so, but thanks for opening the gate for me. Why is she not asking all the questions? I mean, she was like, oh, Camus, look on the computer, look on the internet, look everywhere to find stuff about Cora. And then we meet Cora, and she's like, oh, I just need a parking ticket. Uh, <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> I really don't understand. But uh, I guess we will leave then. So, I think this kind of confirms the theory that we had that this is like some old governing AI that um, well is left behind and is slowly crumbling causing you got a ticket you are shaking are you okay it's fine it's cold down here just some old computer terminal was acting really strange let's get going the sooner we get out of here the better yeah I think that AI is uh, causing all the issues in Navalis because it's crumbling, it's going insane. But let's leave. Uh, we'll figure out soon enough, I hope. There we go. Out of the null gate. Um, so I guess we'll get a new quest soon. Do I fuel up? Oh, I have enough fuel. There we go. Hey, Rania, are you there? I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen, kid, I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Drunk? If only. I, I can't drink anymore. Can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I'm sure your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. 
Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries? Making waves? Surviving? It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package. Hey, Control, I got stuck in the hmm. hollows, and... What were you doing down there? I <laughs> guess I got lost. I wish anyway, I, knew. I got talking to this broken terminal down there, and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but they really mean broken AI or the city algorithms or... The damn, city algorithms. Even just fate. It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. Um, listen up. I don't believe that. We that's... need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. Uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I oh, get wow. some good reviews or something? A few. Can you tell me who? Look at all these scores. Uh, I'm not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. We had a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. What about the Octavius Butlers? <laughs> they rated you <laughs> mediocre. That's yeah. about what I expected from That's them. That's what I figured. <laughs> What's this fancy job then? You're meeting a CEO, delivering to the Spire. Wait, what? Really? Spire, really? damn. Damn, the Spire, man. That's like the highest tier um, of society. Very nice. I didn't want to go through the through the tunnel, by the way, because it like interrupts the um, dialogue. But let's go to our next package. Um, so yeah, I really don't. Oh my god, I'm I'm a really bad driver. I'm sorry. I know there's an achievement in the game that states that uh, or that you can get when you complete the game without hitting anything. Should we get something to eat? We. Oui. Well, you, but I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me, but there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. There's nothing like food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles and I suppose voltage. They feel different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering. Like, my thinking has clouds. <laughs> Is it worse when you're in the Hava frame? No. Uh, a little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. <laughs> I should eat something. What, though? Get something to eat. Okay. Well, let's first go through the gate. Man, they really did a great job with Camas. Uh, I love that dog. I just love the fact that we have a like an AI dog that is <laughs> assisting us. And I would figure that he used to be a real dog and that we lost his body because I think that's part of the story that we like sold it or something. I don't know. But um, we will get him a new one. I promise you that. So I need some food. Um, but where? Where can I... Maybe I should... Oh, let's... Maybe I should park and then... Um, yeah, let's park over here. And let's see if there's some food near... Hi. There we go, we are parked. Uh, let's see if there's some food here. I think there should be some. I mean, look. I say it every episode and I will say it again, but I love the look and feel of this game. I mean, look at this. It's such a like cyberpunk or Blade Runner or whatever. I love it. Ah, food. Here we go. Food mood. Uh, there's nothing. There's nobody here. Damn. Oh wait, there is food downstairs. What? Let's take the elev. The elevator is down again. Come back here. Come back to me. <laughs> I need. Food. Oh, imagine a world where uh, advertisements follow you around. <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe it's not as great as, uh, as it looks, but I mean... Bender. 
Okay. Talk to him. Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. Welcome what can I get to you? my humble restaurant in the rain. <laughs> Jesus Not Christ. Not bad. Get me some Thank crispy you. schmeat. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. <laughs> oh boy. This guy. You got some food though, so that's nice. Can I ask about food again? Go Curry ahead, chemist. chemist. How was it? It was good. Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It's all junk. Junk? <laughs> Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. <laughs> you know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. Cherry pie, we no ate cherry pie. No way there's real cherries though. <laughs> you sound happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone too. If you don't like to go outside, because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Home. Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, mm -hmm. I bet even mom would have liked them. Yeah. I can imagine if you come from like a rural area and then have to move to a city like this, it'd be a major change. And it wouldn't be that easy, um, because even for me, I come from a rural area, by the way, and uh, I sometimes have to go to the city for work or whatever, and holy damn, it's so overwhelming, it's so busy, I really can't stay there for like weeks and weeks on end. I mean, if you get used to it, I mean, it's probably fine, and everything is close Do by. Do so. go up on one of those big elevators? Yes. I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but mm -hmm. right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow! Man! <laughs> oh, Camus. I need a Camus in real life, man. I do have a dog, by the way. I got a little chihuahua. <laughs> uh. But he isn't so very smart. <laughs> I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna talk bad about him, but <laughs> I gotta be honest. That's uh wait, is that the big elevator? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think that's just Avalon Heights, yeah. It's just the next area. There we go. Music is great as well. <laughs> It's one of my favorite genres, by the way, uh, like synthwave and like, and I just love it. Also more old school rock, that's also something I'm really into, but uh, synthwave, driving on the highway and just listening to those beats, love it. Am I in the right place or should I, yeah, I should park here. Let's actually go into, yeah, there we go. Et voila! Uh, I think there's a... Yes, I think we got some punch cards here, if I'm correct. Yes. Very nice. So there's another one, I think. So let's also go to that one. There we go. Got some more punch cards. Oh, I remember, because we last time we collected 20 and we need 20 more for Evelyn. I wonder if she's going to ask for even more, but I think it's going to be... Uh, <laughs> three times uh, collecting punch cards. I just have a feeling because there's a lot of locations in this game and mm. I should explore the world a bit more. I'm mainly focusing on the quests now but I mean the world is so rich. Look at this place. Look. I, sh I should actually uh, look around and see if I can find some. Oh the engineer. Hey delivery driver. We met hey, him before. Hey engineer. Did you see any blinking street signs? Yes, actually. Thankfully, no. Wait, no, did what? you figure out what was I causing did. all the accidents? 
No, sure. Continued and sustained entropic breakdown of a complex system. So that's not an easy fix, right? It is not. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe painting. Or I could take up photography. Something visual. Uh. I might even try sewing. No one sews these days. I mean about the city. You can't just quit. That's too far gone. Anything I do now has as much chance of costing lives as saving them. Last week, I had my men close off a section of the freeway for repairs. I diverted the traffic through a different neighborhood. Then it collapsed. What collapsed? The road? Uh-uh. The whole neighborhood. Holy damn. It's under the ocean now. That's not your fault. Well, it sure feels like my fault. Can't someone else help? How about the people up in the spire? Who are you kidding, lady? They don't give a crap. Sorry. Maybe a painter then? You won't be short of inspiration. Oh yeah, I can move down to the slums and paint the reflection of the sun on the waves as they swallow the city. The slums? No savings then? On an engineer's salary? <laughs> Good joke, lady. Hmm. Our times have changed. So, uh... Damn, so he is like, if, if you didn't see the final the last episodes, uh, he is like the the guy that was trying to fix everything when it was breaking down, but I mean a whole neighborhood collapsing. I, I think the only way to fix this is by fixing the governing AI. I think that Korra is the solution to the problems, but that's also the cause of the problem. So let's see uh, how far we can make it. What are you looking for? Whatever Never it is, I got, I got it. it. Cybernetic arm. I want to buy this, man. It looks so cool. Liquid. No, I don't need anything else. But I want to buy the arm. But I don't hey, have come the money. Back anytime, lady. Thank you. Uh, where is the? Here we go. Why is it red? Um. Oh. Okay. So you can only go up. Uh, Get some special permission, I guess. Camus, can you hear me? Hey, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. Oh, wow, okay. Loading screen. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident at Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but I heard one of the accident cleanup crews say this is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but if Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident, well, I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata or an android or even a person, if they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. Says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Cora. Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. 
Feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Man, I feel bad for him. I really do. So, yeah, Korra basically started collapsing and it took his family. Um, it's strange how a game like this, which seems very simple by the way, has such a such an in-depth story. It's really it's really crazy. So this is the spire. The wonderful place they kept talking about and woo, we got actual stars here. That's new. Can I can I recognize any constellations? Yeah, I'm really into astronomy by the way, so I can actually recognize constellations. But they seem to be random here. Yeah, not seeing anything specific. Yeah, I do astrophotography in my spare time as well, so I capture uh, stars, galaxies and uh, nebulae as well. Really fun hobby, but really time consuming and expensive. <laughs> Uh, I mean, look at this place. Ooh. Hey, Camus, you see that bird? Oh, I, I believe it is a falcon. His name Close. is Norman. How do you and Norman know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer. Where do you see the falcon? I don't know. Corpse. I want to talk to the corpse cleric, but oh, oh, my cameras. Okay, no mind. Where is the falcon? Am I blind? Oh, listen to the wind. Oh, it's a corpse like flyer. Ah, oh, that's what I think I can use it on the gate uh, near my house. I think that was something I still needed to do, or is it something that I. Yeah, I still needed to do it because I have two now. I don't remember that. Let's also talk to the merchant. Maybe they're starting to be cool. Offer you today. And magazine. Hide your, how to hide your ID chip from corpse like. <laughs> okay. Thanks. And Waller for 15 bucks. I look Holy forward damn. to seeing you again. Yeah, yeah you too. Where is the fel? Is this the fel? No, it's. Wait, it is. Ah, it is. This is the falcon. Okay. It's nice. Wait. Yeah, I think it is. It's it's really voxely. <laughs> Su aerospace. What? Wow. CEO, the CEO is just like standing here. I have your delivery, consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me, code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was going to tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm going to keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? Is it pizza? Pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week they've gone mad. All oh. our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but <laughs> I couldn't wait. Wishful thinking. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. This pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? Sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? <laughs> why did it always run into me when I'm trying to... Okay. But, <laughs> damn. Is pineapple so bad? Oh man, I can't run no, in there. No, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. It's really good. There's a sign uh, over there. Pineapple Did you pizza. See the I'm sign? sorry. <laughs> the one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am suggesting a prank. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't know. Leave the sign and return to your vehicle. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do a prank. I actually wanna do a prank. Now let me check if there's anything here. Yeah, there's still a package here. See, I knew it. I knew it. Let's actually go and collect that package. Oh, it's a robot. So even the food logistics are now failing. Uh, I mean, the whole city is collapsing at this point. Uh, what's this? The end magazine. God damn! I almost bought that stuff. 
Okay. Maybe I should actually sell something because I have a lot of... Hmm. Uh, most of it are clothes because I'm a collector. <laughs> Let's... Um... Uh, oh. Alright, this is the Merchant Korra be damned. Yeah, indeed. Seems like everybody has been noticing what has been happening. I think it would have been good to write a message on the board. Maybe, Camus, but pranks can get you fired. What would you have oh, written? Wait. Something satirical? Pineapple is not so bad. Is that a good satirical? Not really, Camus. Maybe you are better at jokes. There's nothing funny about the people up there, Camus. I won't laugh at them till they're down here with us. Damn, damn! I didn't. I wanted to. I wanted to write the joke, but I guess. Ah, oh, man! I thought a green. Ah. Oh. I thought the green quest was the uh, the main one. Damn! Oh, I feel so sad now. I wanted to make a joke with Camus. <laughs> But let's continue, let's continue. It's not, uh, not the end of the world. And let's actually go to the Falconer. Uh, they must be close. Yeah. Oh, not that close, actually. But let's do it. Let's do it. Let's tell them where the Falcon is. If they can even get to the Spire, because I guess not everyone is allowed there. There's some pretty decent vehicles here, uh, but not as cool as mine. Very cool. There we go. Let's go to the Falconer. No, leave me alone. Hey, kid. The uh, weirdest job came up. Well, there's not much pay in it, though. I could do weird, as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of novellas. Hmm. What? Really? Yeah, in a, a technical sense, at least. The vents are outside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Novala city limits. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloudpunk HQ then I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. So we are going back down under the infrastructure, like the hollows, I guess, but maybe a different area? Hmm. I'm first going to the Falconer. I'm gonna tell him about the, the Falcon. And then I will go to the package of Clarepunk HQ. Oh wow, oh wow, look at these buildings! Is it like Chinatown? Oh, little China, it is little China! That's actually really neat, look at this place! <laughs> That's really cool! What is this, the Diamond District? <laughs> Very nice. Well, do, we, do we need to go even further? Ooh, got some beats. No, 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 it's over here, it's over here. Yes, right here. There we go. Oh, I need to go this way. And I need to go down. Wait, do I need to... Ah, wait, the elevator is here. Yeah, sorry. That's my mistake. There we go. I think this is where he ate the pie, by the way. I think this is the location. Normally, if I'm, if I'm right, I think that's the pie place. Yeah, cherry pie seller, nice. Okay, let's actually buy some Change more pie. Your mind, did you? I knew you'd come back. <laughs> I'll probably be back. Much better than you thought, right? Exactly. We love the pie here. <laughs> um, come on, Falconer. I found it. Hey, I saw your bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. So you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. 
Uh, you know the part that smells like sulfur in the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that bird a lesson. <laughs> we sent him to the slums. <laughs> oh, we sent him to the slums. That's brilliant. Yeah, so we found the pelican in the spire, by the way. <laughs> All right, let's go to our quest now, and let's help those people. Oh, okay, now I see, now I see. Okay, look, I've been using the boost for a while, and that, like, slurped your, um, your fuel. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty drastic, I have to say. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Whoops. Let's get a package and bring them to the people in need. Farmers. We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. And Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it maybe. dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus. Me too, Camus. I hope they like the food. I stopped the fuel uh, bump because <laughs> I saw my money go down drastically. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to collect here. I need to remember that. I need to remember that. Let's open the map. Um, oh, we can actually see on... Oh, wow, okay. I, I didn't even know it, but you can actually see all the items on the map as well. So maybe maybe I should do a whole sweep one day in the future. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe that's a bit too much, but... I am a bit of a collector in games, so I am sorry, uh, but I like to finish games in its entirety. Know everything about the story and also collect all the items. Uh, I don't think we need to collect all the items in this case, in this game, but let's see, let's see. Yeah. I also try to do most of the most of the side quests as well. So I think also when we finish the main quest, it might be interesting to go through the side quests as well. To just see if there is any characters we missed, because there, there's probably a couple uh, that we can talk to. Like the falcon guy. Oh wow, we actually go... Oh, 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 wow, okay. We actually go completely off-grid here. Oh, okay, so... Oh, it's the same as last time. We go into, like, this deep hole underground. This is gonna be interesting. And look at this place. And here you can even see like the, that the place is just crumbling. It's completely crumbling. All right, let's park. There we go. Man, this place is horrific to live in. But I see a collectible. I mean, am I am I robbing these people? If I'm, I'm robbing these people. But okay. Hello, Retsu. You the delivery stooge. Very much so. I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. Thank you. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? Welcome to your poverty, Safari. This is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. My name's Retsu. Rania. 
Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been here a while? Yeah, I wasn't the first though. Old Zig traveled out here over a hundred years ago. Oh well. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And you had to be ready for the chills. So what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam planes with a suit made from old abandoned Hover's insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the Far Rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security and the lights and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. You will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. Well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. Hmm. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used us. to. Yeah, Koras fucking it up. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here. Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. What do you think Cora is? Cora is everything. And all of us. Cora is the provider and the caretaker and the disciplinarian. Cora holds at a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Sometimes the fist holds wood, sometimes the fist strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Cora is your... Salvation, and right now Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Ronnie. <laughs> I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Cora willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Ronia. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile and temporary. Damn, okay, so... They are gonna have a really hard time because Korra is crumbling and it's taking a very big toll on these people. Um, so now I need to check because I'm a bit lost here. Uh, oh wait, wait. Hey, driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hava around the city like that. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out wait, of the what? standard Cloudpunk hava damage penalty fine. What do you mean? I just fixed her up. I just repaired it. Uh-oh. The repulsors have gone to low power mode. Damage status Amber. Amber? 
Have I really crashed that often? Often enough that I wonder if your vision is malfunctioning. Was that attitude, Camus? When you hit things, it hurts me a little. I barely hit anything. Yes, just the green hova, and the red one, and the side of that building, and... All right, I'm still getting the hang of driving in this city. So what do we do? Maybe we don't need to tell Cloudpunk if we fix the damage quickly. We need one of those repair station places. I know. Amber alert, though. Why? The light appears on your dashboard. That's what that light means. What colors does it go through? Amber 1, Amber 2, Amber 3, and black. How do you know when it's a black alert? The light goes off. Right. Why oh my not God. different colors? Because you would need to change the light bulb. So something glitched out. Uh, I just slightly bumped my hava into something and it completely destroyed it. Look at my hava. Oh my god. Uh, I need a repair station now. I need... Oh my god, I can't even drive anymore. It's right there. It's right there. Careful. Careful. Damn. Five hundred. Five hundred. I barely, I barely touched it. Hey, 14 FC, we did a status check on your vehicle performance and it's running clean as a spire sky. You robbed me. Look after your hopper and she'll look after you. That's what I always say. I got robbed of all my money twice. Good work, kid. I hope it's just not this area. I got a bonus, so they pay me back 100, okay. I hope it's just not that this area is damaging it or something, because that would be a shame. And that was really strange. I, I took off with my, my hover and I hit something and it completely destroyed it. Like I hit something major or something, I don't know what it was. But let's uh, continue and find those families. I think we found the first one. Yeah, nice. Let's be careful now with landing because it doesn't seem to be going so great. Uh, let's also rob them of their possessions as well. The music is very serious as well. Broken augments. It's worth some money, I guess. Moisture farmer. Who are you? I was sent to deliver supplies. Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said... Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Give it here. They don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. <laughs> they always follow me when I'm like... <laughs> leaving. Ah, and this is a functional hover actually here. Nice. So he still has a functional hover. Oh well. Functional as in it could work if their uh, gasoline pumps didn't freeze or something. Wait, am I going the right way? I'm completely lost here. Let's actually open a map. Okay, no. I ah, okay, no. It's a straight line. So I need to go... Can I go this way? I think I can. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah. That's another moisture farmer. And I can rob him as well. There we go. Man, I would never want to live here. I brought you supplies. Who sent you? Retsu. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years. Decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Uh, thanks. It, it's just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. Well, thank you kindly. Five? Paper at five? No. Ah, oh, the bank terminals! 
Oh my god, I've always been wondering how I could use those things. Okay, that makes sense. So, um... Okay, then I need to go back to my home, I guess. I probably won't do that this episode, though. Let's keep it for uh, when we get back home. Oh my god, it's gonna get destroyed again. Yeah, hold on, I found some stuff here. <laughs> there we go. Stuff I can sell. Hello, I'm here too. They already called me on the old CB radio and told me you were on your way. You're the talk of the town, lady. I'm just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome. I get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is gonna get charted. Go, quickly. And don't think twice about coming back here, you hear? Okay, good luck. Why do I have the feeling something bad is gonna happen? Parking sensors dysfunction? Ah, oh, okay, I just can't park anymore. Okay, never mind. I thought my car broke again, but it's just that I cannot re-land uh, when I took off. I mean, look at this place. This is huge. I can't believe that this is actually, like, underneath the city. Imagine, like, just building on top of the existing... I mean, I think in some cases they already do that. Build on top of the old city. But not extreme, like here, but you know what I mean. Oh, wow, look, there's actually other settlements as well, like here. Other... But there's, like, there's actually a lot of people here, then. That's very interesting. I can see Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh, what? no. Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck. Like the man. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Aww. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. I got a bonsai tree! <laughs> no, this is actually really sad. Like, damn. So he completely froze. Let's get out of here. Um, I've seen enough. I am getting a message request. Why are oh, no. you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the Hova. What? So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered Hova. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? The dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? And yeah, nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a PI, but I uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket, if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold, I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice. But Pasta's story was so sad, it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. Mm. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Pasta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? I have located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are is, you is really a here? PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. 
but the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker, the story was true. Fine, Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. He's down here then. Wait, what? Is he? Wait, he's not? I, I don't know where he is. He's not down here here, he is... Yeah, okay, so... He is in another part of the hollows. Huh. Interesting. Okay. But... I think... We will call it a day for now. We made some... <laughs> we made a lot of progress, actually. Um, we finally met Korra. We learned about the hollows, uh, where Korra is residing, um, where the people, some people, the free people, are residing, um, but which is also like the main infrastructure of the city, um, and probably also the root cause of all the issues together with Korra. I'm really, really impressed by how how of a dark turn that the game is taking at the moment. Um, our operator uh, lost his family. We have the people here that froze to death because of Korra. And like a whole neighborhood collapsed as well. And even the people up in the spire are uh, being affected because, well, they don't get the right pizza, but uh, that's another issue. <laughs> but it's really clear that the city is on the, on the edge of collapsing. And um, I'm curious if we can stop it. But we will find out later. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for joining me on this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.